Hello everyone and welcome back to Tashkin House. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys another DIY project using ingredients that I know you have inside of your kitchen. This project is so much fun that you can bring your loved ones in, create some memories, and have fun. So I'm going to share with you guys two different methods of this DIY project. Stick around to the end of the video because I have a special announcement to make. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. The first type ornament I'll be demonstrating how to make is made out of salt dough. Ingredients needed for this recipe are one cup of salt, two cups of plain flour, and three quarter cups of hot water. Mix the salt and flour well. Once mixed, add hot water into the dough and mix once more. Next up, start to knead the dough until fully combined. When this task is complete, start making shapes with your cookie cutters while the dough is wet. You can have a little fun by making stamp imprints inside your dough. Have fun creating. Next up, add your holes to place ribbons or hooks for your ornaments for later. You can use a straw or a skewer like I did or whatever you have on hand. Make sure the holes are large enough for your ribbon or hooks. Set your oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and let them bake for one hour. To finish out the drying process, let them rest for the remainder of the week by rotating them on both sides. Once they are fully dried out, you can paint them or leave them natural. The second option is the baking soda and cornstarch method. The ingredients that you will need are a half a cup of cornstarch, one cup of baking soda, and three quarter cups of water. You can double the recipe if you like. The original recipe was used to make a small batch to create less ornaments. This time we are going to add all the ingredients into a pot to cook over the stove. Start with a whisk to mix the ingredients well over the stove.
Here is where I switch from a whisk to a spatula. Continue cooking until it gets thick. Now that it is at its right consistency, it is now time to remove it from the heat. Place the dough in a bowl, lay a damp towel over the bowl to keep your dough from drying out as it goes through its cooling process for 30 minutes. Once cool, apply more cornstarch to your working surface and knead the dough until it's well combined. With this method, make sure you have extra cornstarch by your side as this dough will become sticky while undergoing the ornament process. Make your holes for your ribbon and create more imprints if you prefer. Add them inside the oven at 200 degrees for one hour. Again, repeat the process by letting them fully air dry on your countertop before painting. Here's how ours turned out. Now it's time for the special announcement. First, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys who take the time out to come by, watch and support my channel. It was important for me to do the same. So I sat down to create a special gift for you guys during this Christmas holiday to show how thankful I am. Not one, but two lucky winners will win these beautiful ornaments that I've made to show my gratitude. Here's how to win. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Also, comment down below with your name to enter in the drawing. In the next video, I will draw the names. I am so excited for my first giveaway. I thank you all for tuning in and watching, and I will see you guys next time.